Why do adverse drug reactions occur, even after clinical trials? You may have think about this question. If all the medications had already gone through the extensive clinical trial process, and, based on the clinical trial data, regulatory authorities had already determined that the drug was safe for use in humans. And based on safety profile of the drug, regulatory authorities had granted permission to sell that drug in the market. So, why did people suffer from adverse drug reactions or side effects after taking drugs? Answer to this question is, as we all know, clinical trials carry a high degree of risk to the subjects enrolled into the trial, considering it's a first exposure of the new drug to humans. Due to this fact, the patients would only become volunteer in a clinical trials when conventional medicine already available in the market did not work for them. So, long story short, most of the patients would prefer not to enroll in clinical trials because of the high degree of risks involved in it. Due to this fact, when a pharmaceutical company, or you can say a sponsor of clinical trials wanted to conduct a clinical trial in humans, they have very limited population of patients willing to participate in clinical trials. Due to all these challenges, the clinical trial sponsor has no choice but to conduct the clinical trials on that limited population of patients who willingly enrolled into the trials. And, based on statistical data, drug response, pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics, drugs safety and risk ratio and other parameters derived from testing a new drug on this limited population of clinical trial participants. The regulatory authorities perform the analysis of all these data and grant marketing authorization of that new drug to the sponsor pharmaceutical company. So this is the primary reason behind why do we experience adverse drug reactions or side effects even after drug underwent extensive clinical trials. Apart from this fact, each person has a unique genetic makeup which causes their bodies to react differently to different medicines. We can conclude from this information that based on the limited population's study data, the pharmaceutical company receives the marketing authorization for the new drug which allow the drug to be administered to larger population. I hope you all understand why, even after clinical trials, we experience adverse drug reactions or side effects of the drugs. That's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also don't forget to share the video. See you soon in the next video.